This Octopus Deploy Getting Started video covers putting your instance in maintenance mode, backing up your Octopus instance, and upgrading your instance. When you log into your Octopus instance, you might notice a notification available on the bell icon next to your username and avatar. By default, you will receive notifications when there's a new version of Octopus available for download. These notifications can be disabled. Be sure to check octopus.com for the latest updates if you do disable the notifications. You can click on the download link in the notification to open the Octopus downloads page. Before upgrading your instance, you'll want to compare the changes between your current version and the version you are upgrading to. You'll want to be on the lookout for any breaking changes that might impact you. For example, in 2020.2, we raised the minimum requirements for running Octopus Server to Windows Server 2012 R2 and SQL Server 2017. You can find your current version by clicking on your username in the Octopus web portal. When you're ready to upgrade, you'll want to put your instance into maintenance mode. You can do this by navigating to Configuration and then Maintenance. Click on the Enable Maintenance Mode button to enter maintenance mode. Most users will be prevented from making changes while in maintenance mode, but administrator users can still start new tasks. After maintenance mode is enabled, it's time to back up your instance. Open the Octopus Manager and then stop the Windows service. You'll want to back up the Octopus Home Directory as well as your master key. The master key is very important. Without it, you won't be able to use any database backup that you take. If you use a password or credential manager, that would be an ideal place to store the master key. Close the manager before you start the upgrade. Next, back up your Octopus database. It's recommended to take regular backups of your Octopus database and file system. Once your backups are complete, you can start the upgrade by running the new installer. Choose the same install path that you chose during the initial installation. Once the new version of Octopus is installed, the manager will reopen. Browse to your Octopus instance and exit maintenance mode. You successfully upgraded your Octopus instance. Here are some recommendations for keeping your Octopus server up to date. Stay up to date with the latest version. We release a new version of Octopus Deploy about every eight weeks. Set up regular backups of your Octopus database and file system. You never know when you might need them. Back up your master key. You'll need it to restore your database. Thanks for watching this getting started video and happy deployments.